I am truly, truly honored to be here. I'm very, very happy. Today is a very good day for many reasons, and I'm very thankful for being in this country and hosting of this tremendous event. Thank you. Today, my heart is at peace. And my faith in humanity has been renewed. When we came to the General Assembly in 2010, I challenged you to put your hearts and minds together and conclude a treaty for the world's blind. Well, I would write a not so good song about you. Well, thank goodness you got it right. Instead, tonight, I'm going to sing a song. For, well, actually, we're going to sing a song of celebration together tonight. Yeah. It is humbling to know when the weakest among us is in need, you answer the call with a steely determination and a steadfast courage to make a difference. Today, we are all brothers and sisters in the struggle to make this life in the future better, not for one, but for all. I'm here today because all of you made a commitment to do good. From the bottom of my heart, I want to thank the intellectual world, intellectual property organization, and the United States for never giving up and for giving into a new beginning for the blind and visually impaired. I also would like to thank King Mohammed VI for his. this very important diplomatic conference. This victory is most significant for many reasons. Most obviously, the positive impact for the blind and the visually impaired, but also it sends a message to all world leaders that it, it is possible to do business and to do good at the same time. Compromise should be celebrated and defined as a new world order for hope and peace. To the 300 million who are visually disabled, this new treaty is a major step towards access to the basics, such as works and formats such as Braille, electronic Braille, large print text, audio books, and speech. The first, the first and famine for books is coming to an end. Where I'm from, 300 million is a lot of votes. <laughs> and to that end, I want to encourage all who are beneficiaries of this treaty to remember finally those leaders who have pushed this treaty forward. While the signing of this treaty is a historic and important step. I'm respectfully and urgently asking all governments and states to prioritize ratification of this treaty so that it will become the law of the land in your respective states and countries. And truly I am here because I love this. All right? I really am, and I thank you so very much. And praises to God for the lot. Thank you. 